Driving towards the zebra crossing you see the lady on your right. You should. Choose one answer. A. Not need to stop. B. Only stop if the other driver stops. C. Assume the lady doesn't want to cross because she is standing well back. D. Be ready to slow down and stop. Answer. D. Be ready to slow down and stop. Your car hits a child at 40 miles per hour. The child. A. Will be injured but will probably survive. B. Is not likely to be seriously injured. C. Will most probably be killed. D. Is likely to have been to blame. Answer. C. Will most probably be killed. At 40 miles per hour, the impact of a collision is severe, and there is a high probability that a child hit at this speed will be fatally injured. When passing animals you should not. Choose two answers. A. Sound your horn. B. Use indicators. C. Have your lights on. D. Rev your engine. E. Be prepared to give way. Answer. A. Sound your horn. D. Rev your engine. Driving at night you are dazzled by the lights of an oncoming car. You should. A. Look well to the left. B. Slow down or stop if necessary. C. Flash your headlamps. D. Pull down the sun visor. Answer. B. Slow down or stop if necessary. Reversing into a side road, where should you look for most of the time? A. At the interior rear view mirror. B. Into the door mirrors. C. Through the rear window. D. At any pedestrians ahead of your car. Answer. C. Through the rear window. You are driving the red car, arrowed, at 30 miles per hour in the rain. You are about 25 meters, 82 feet, from the car ahead. You should consider yourself. A. To be a safe distance from the car ahead. B. To be dangerously close to the car ahead. C. Able to stop in good time if the driver ahead had to make an emergency stop. D. To be safe providing your car has an anti-lock braking system. Answer. B. To be dangerously close to the car ahead. Driving at 45 miles per hour in good conditions, what is a safe minimum distance to keep between you and a car ahead? A. 75 meters, 245 feet. B. 45 meters, 148 feet. C. 35 meters, 117 feet. D. 23 meters, 67 feet. Answer. B. 45 meters, 148 feet. Why is it better to keep to the left when driving in a right-hand bend? A. It improves your view of the road ahead. B. It will keep you away from pedestrians in the road. C. It allows you take the bend faster. D. You needn't worry about the camber. Answer. A. It improves your view of the road ahead. Approaching a level crossing you see this sign with the amber light showing and should. A. Drive through the crossing quickly. B. Only drive through if you can see no trains approaching. C. Drive over the crossing slowly. D. Stop before the barriers. Answer. D. Stop before the barriers. If you need glasses or contact lenses to read a number plate at the distance required for driving you should wear them. A. Only when driving in poor weather. B. Only when driving in heavy traffic. C. At all times when driving. D. Only when driving at night. Answer. C. At all times when driving. You are about to drive home after a hard day at work but feel very tired. You should. A. Take some pet pills to stay awake. B. Not drive. C. 
drive faster to lessen the danger of falling asleep at the wheel. D. Take a flask of strong coffee with you. Answer. B. Not drive. The Highway Code advises that you must not drive in reverse gear. A. For longer than necessary. B. Into a side road. C. Unless you are parking. D. Unless someone is guiding you. Answer. A. For longer than necessary. How should you signal when you want to go straight ahead at a roundabout? A. Signal right on approach and then left to leave the roundabout. B. Signal left on approach and through the roundabout. C. Signal left just after passing the exit before the one you want to take. D. No signal is necessary. Answer. C. Signal left just after passing the exit before the one you want to take. On a wet road you see a motorcyclist steer around a drain cover in a right-hand bend. Why would the motorcyclist do this? A. To avoid mounting the curb. B. To avoid a skid on the metal surface. C. To annoy following traffic. D. To avoid splashing passers-by. Answer. B. To avoid a skid on the metal surface. Where should you position your car before overtaking a long vehicle? A. As close as possible to get past quickly. B. Well back to get a clear view ahead. C. To the center of the road to get a clear view ahead. D. Well back and well to the left. Answer. B. Well back to get a clear view ahead. A bus driver ahead signals to pull out from a bus stop. What should you do? A. Accelerate to get past quickly. B. Flash your lights and overtake. C. Allow it to pull away if safe. D. Sound your horn if you need to stop. Answer. C. Allow it to pull away if safe. You should switch on rear fog lights when visibility drops below. A. 200 meters, 660 feet. B. 100 meters, 330 feet. C. 10 meters, 33 feet. D. Your minimum braking distance. Answer. B. 100 meters, 330 feet. Bad weather can make road markings difficult to see. When this happens you should. A. Expect other drivers to give way when necessary. B. Be ready to sound your horn if another driver makes a mistake. C. Be ready to give way at a junction even if you know you have priority. D. Not worry about traffic joining your road. Answer. C. Be ready to give way at a junction even if you know you have priority. Your car is a dark color. Towards sunset, you would be advised to switch on your lights. A. Only when other drivers switch on their lights. B. Only after lighting up time. C. Only when you can no longer see clearly ahead without lights. D. Earlier than drivers of light-colored cars. Answer. D. Earlier than drivers of light-colored cars. What does this motorway sign mean? A. Leave the motorway at the next exit. B. Move to the hard shoulder. C. Move to the lane on your left. D. Contraflow. Change to the opposite carriageway. Answer. C. Move to the lane on your left. You see this sign as you approach a junction. You must. A. Stop, even if the road is clear. B. Stop only if other vehicles are nearby. C. Stop only if you can't see the road ahead clearly. D. Be ready to pull up sharply. Answer. A. Stop, even if the road is clear. A police officer has asked to see your driving documents but you don't have them with you. You must produce them at a police station within. A. 5 days. B. 7 days. 
C. 10 days. D. 14 days. Answer. B. 7 days. Before driving a friend's car you must make sure that. A. Your own vehicle has insurance cover. B. Your use of the car is insured. C. Your friend has third-party insurance. D. You have the insurance documents for your friend's car. Answer. B. Your use of the car is insured. The Pass Plus scheme is available to all newly qualified drivers and is designed to A. Help them supervise a learner driver. B. Help them gain more experience. C. Reduce the cost of vehicle road tax. D. Help them service their own vehicle. Answer. B. Help them gain more experience. What type of vehicle would display a flashing green light? A. A motorway maintenance vehicle. B. A slow-moving vehicle. C. An ambulance or fire engine. D. A doctor or midwife on an emergency call. Answer. D. A doctor or midwife on an emergency call. What is the purpose of the horn? A. To tell other road users that you intend to come through. B. To indicate that you have right of way. C. To warn others of your presence. D. To show annoyance at other drivers' mistakes. Answer. C. To warn others of your presence. Who has responsibility for seeing that a vehicle isn't overloaded? A. The owner of the vehicle. B. The driver of the vehicle. C. The person who has loaded the vehicle. D. The owner of the load. Answer. B. The driver of the vehicle. You are driving at night in a heavily loaded estate car. What problem should you be aware of? A. Following drivers will not be able to see your tail lights. B. Full headlights can't be used. C. Dipped headlights could dazzle oncoming drivers. D. You will be unable to use your mirrors. Answer. C. Dipped headlights could dazzle oncoming drivers. Catalytic converters are designed to A. Increase fuel consumption. B. Reduce harmful emissions. C. Improve the quality of air circulating in the vehicle. D. Reduce wear and tear in the engine. Answer. B. Reduce harmful emissions. One of the times you may use hazard warning lights is A. When being towed. B. To excuse inconsiderate parking. C. When towing another vehicle. D. If your car has broken down. Answer. D. If your car has broken down.